Hey guys, it's Ann. Welcome to the channel. A few of you said, hey, we haven't seen your face in a while. What's going on? Nothing. Just nothing to see. Still my face. Uh, today we are going to look in on the African Nightcrawlers in the Vermi Bag Lil Mammoth. Now there's about 10 pounds or 10,000 African Nightcrawlers in this bin. And they have done something I was not expecting in the 25 days since the last time we looked in on them. Alright, now that you see my face, I'm okay. Uh, let's have a look and see what they are doing. And I'm going to tell you, this is probably going to be the biggest feeding I've ever fed them. Alright, let's get you flipped around and have a look. Alright, here we go. Uh, since the last time you guys have uh, looked in on this bin, uh, added a few clippings from the plants in the house, and I also went back in and did give it about a gallon of water. It uh, was, once I was doing the editing on the last video, I was like, wow, that does look super dry. So I added about a gallon of water right after that, and then I added another almost gallon of water probably about a week ago. So let's take a look and see what these guys have done. I'll put a picture and show you what this looked like when we closed it up last time, but you're not going to believe this. It's all gone. I put probably two or three gallons of bedding in here, and this is all that's left of it, just a very thin veneer of bedding. And then if we push everything off to the side, then we can look and see what we've got for food. But we've got, you know, the happy little worms inside of their avocado shell. And as we kind of strip away everything here, we gave them a really good size feeding. And I would not expect it to be completely gone, but I did have some avocado shells that I kind of locked up together. No super worm ball there, but um, I was kind of hoping that maybe they would like it and give me a worm ball. But as we're kind of digging through the center here, you can see all the worms are all the way throughout and they have moved up to the center here or to the middle and that was really what I wanted to do by giving them a lot of moisture was to make sure that they stayed at the top of the bin so still digging just a complete oops hold on somebody escaped okay to be fair he didn't escape I threw him but same thing had to get him back moving these along here and looking at the avocado pits that we threw in there for them to eat. I see worms in there, but I don't really see that they're making any progress. So the moisture in this bin is way higher than normal, and I've kept it that way because I thought it was losing too much moisture due to the, the furnace being on. Piece of plastic with something. So um, we fed all the way across the top and then we covered it with, with bedding and I'm not seeing any of the food that we fed last time. So it looks like I need to uh, up the game a little bit and get them some more food. So let's, let's feed down more down the middle this time. I've got some super stinky stuff that we're going to we're going to feed them. So I need to make sure that I do bury it a good depth and uh make sure that the gnat apocalypse that's happening in the basement right now doesn't happen on my ground floor of my house where I live. Uh don't need a gnat apocalypse here in the house. All right. So I'm going to grab some bedding first. All right. And then this is a three gallon bucket from a nerd. And what we've got here um, is a whole pineapple and a small herd of lemons, which I am going to try and break into if I can. Didn't bring a knife. So many of them are already starting to disintegrate a bit that I don't want them to desiccate here in the bin. 
the orange in here as well. So there we have it. We are going to feed them three gallons of food. So let's get them some more bedding and cover them up. Well, let's, let's put the other stuff in there too. Get the, uh, the leaves from all the house plants getting trimmed. Got the, uh, the grass from the fish tank. And let's get them some bedding. All right, like I said, that is super stinky and I do not want there to be any chance that the gnats get over um, and find this as some place they'd like to uh, start making a family. If you want to see more of the vermi bag and how it's progressed over time, I will put a video right over there. And if you want to watch the whole progression of the vermi bag from build to present day, I'll put the playlist right down there. If you like this video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.